It's Thomas Mulready from Cool Cleveland. We are here with Cheryl Stevens, candidate for Lieutenant Governor. Thank you so much for coming all the way over from the other side of town. You're from Cleveland Heights. You're over here in Lakewood at a fundraiser. Well, you know, Cleveland Heights and Lakewood are like sisters. <laughs> sister cities. Yeah, we're sister cities. Right. We have cool people on our side of the river. You have cool people on your side That's of the river. That's exactly right. And so when you have that kind of philosophy, you're not preoccupied with competition. <laughs> you know that it's cool to go over the river and through the woods exactly. and visit your friends in Lakewood. Right. I'm Cheryl Stevens and I'm running for Lieutenant Governor of the state of Ohio with Nan Whaley as the gubernatorial candidate and we are the Democratic candidates for the state of Ohio. This is history because never before have two women run as mates on a ticket in the United States of America, let alone in Ohio. Wow. Never has a woman been the the Democratic nominee in Ohio. Wow. And so this is absolutely glass ceiling breaking. And hopefully in November on the second on the eighth of November, we will shatter that glass ceiling and become the first two women anywhere in the United States to be governor and lieutenant governor. Congratulations. Thank you. And it's so appropriate because of what the current governor has just done and the legislature. If you want to talk about this, because everyone else is talking about Let's it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk Let's about talk it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about why we need some women in there to stand up for women and women's rights. So Nan Whaley was mayor of Dayton. I think most people know that. Yeah. For those of you who uh, don't focus on local politics, I was mayor of Cleveland Heights. We know that mayors, you run into them in the grocery store. This is my favorite story from when I was mayor. <laughs> and I'm like in a baseball cap high top converse, cut off shorts, and this woman says to me, are you Cheryl Stevens? Yes ma'am I am. You're the mayor? Yes ma'am I am. My trash didn't get picked up this week. It wasn't my job to say, well, I'm the mayor, I'm not public works director. It was my job to say, ma'am, which neighborhood and street do you live on? And what is your trash day? Which block of the street so that I can, or can you give me your name and your address so that I can make sure that next week it's taken care of appropriately. I think, Nan Whaley thinks, that's what every citizen should be able to expect from their leadership. We say, you live in Ohio, we are supposed to serve you. We're not supposed to serve the gun lobbyists. We're not supposed to serve private charter schools. We are not supposed to serve the anti-abortion, pro-life, non-future thinking people of this state or private and big business exclusively. We are to care about the average citizen. And let's talk about why you need to support people like us. If you believe that the average median income in this country should at least apply here, let me tell you the facts. Under DeWine's leadership and leadership in, uh, behind him, me national median income is $64,000. Our median income in Ohio is 53 and change. 54 if you're rounding. That means that leadership in this state has not taken good care of us. If there are 11 million people in this state, I would tell you that 9 million of them are like me and you middle class, hardworking, and concerned about the quality of our lives. We think the American dream focuses on a good quality education, the ability to work hard at a job you at least like and hopefully love, saving a little money and buying a home of your own and hoping it appreciates in value so that when you get ready to retire, you have a little nest egg and you have a life that you enjoy. Anyone who doesn't help you achieve that is not a good public servant, but Nan and I are concerned about those things, and we will work to make them happen in the right direction for you. Like we believe minimum wage should be $15 an hour as a floor, not as a ceiling. We believe that at the end of every day, you should have made more money than you spent, and your local government and your state government both should work for you. If you believe those kinds of things, then you'll want to vote for Nan Whaley and Cheryl Stevens. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cheryl. You're welcome. You hit all the points. I had I had a bunch of questions, but you answered them all. So, <laughs> Thank you so much. Enjoy your time Thank here you. in Lakewood. Thank you. Welcome. We hope to see you again. Good well, luck. Well, you will. You will. Of course.
think. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from Cool Cleveland. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.